welcome to The Interesting Podcast, episode number 139. This episode is with one of my new favorite people, the hilarious and talented Chris Collins, who you probably know best as Call Me Chris on TikTok. And I'll be honest with you guys, she is even more fantastic than you think. (laughs) We literally spent the first 10 minutes of this just making each other laugh, and I had so much fun hanging out with her. And we talked about a bunch of stuff. We talked about both of us raising our dogs this past year, and that's been uh, an adventure. Um, We talk about her being a hairdresser before this whole pandemic thing. And actually, one of her clients she had while she was in hair school lost a bunch of her hair. And it's a hilarious and crazy story. Uh, We talk about how she started on TikTok, her process for making her videos, uh, her recently making the jump to YouTube, how that's been. Uh, We talk about the importance of staying true to yourself while making content and so much more. Chris is a blast. And you're going to love her even more than you already do. Guaranteed. So... Without further ado, please enjoy this episode of The Interesting Podcast, number 139, with Chris Collins. Theme song time. didn't realize that you were Canadian. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people I mean, don't know that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the, like, it's not a lack of accent, because, like, I guess we no. have accents compared to other people, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. No, I know what you mean. That's not, like, the stereotypical, like, I don't talk like this, and yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. And then I do, like, so many American accents in, like, you do. and stuff, so a lot, even, like, brands that reach out to me think I'm from, like, New York or other places. So it's not just you. It's okay. That's <laughs> Even though good, there's though. a Canada flag in my bio. But it's That's fine. right. You, they don't. They haven't seen your giant back tattoo of just a maple. <laughs> yeah, <leaf>. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's for later. That's for later. Yeah. That's pretty good though, because that means your accents that you're doing in the skits are convincing. <laughs> you know. I guess. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I accents are interesting as well. I find that. Uh, trying to pinpoint where someone's from via their accent can sometimes be easy, but other times yeah. not. Other times, yeah, hundred percent. I find that Boston accent and Australian yeah. accent similar. similar. They are a little similar. They are. Right? I know it's about. It's like every accent is like, I don't know. It has a rhythm to it, and you just gotta like find it. I lose it all the time. Like sometimes <laughs> my accents, my accents are garbage, but. <laughs> If I can, I can usually do like little snippets. It's like really hard to do like a full conversation. Like sure. I just started to do like the Russian character and it's like, that it, counts. it's difficult to stay on <laughs> the entire time. The beauty of jump cuts. It's like you have yes, to, exactly. j- just to where you get to the point where your mouth is starting to relax. You're like, go, there we go. go yeah, back, nope, go that's it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's funny. Is it getting cold yeah. yet where you're at? Oh yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's like, we're around like five degrees right now, which isn't too bad. Five to zero. Huh. Oh, um, yeah. It'll Celsius. get colder though. Yes, Celsius. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Like, yes, yes, oh. yes. Yeah. You're like what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fahrenheit. Five degrees. That's really yeah. cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's like decently cold. Are you good with the cold? <laughs> yeah. 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 Grew up in it. So I mean it's not That's like fair. there's um in the East Coast they get like and the um interior super cold and obviously up north we're pretty lucky in bc it's pretty manageable <laughs> oh yeah bc that's far west the, is that the first yes. one that's the con- furthest west yeah got province yeah so we just get a lot of yeah it's a province yeah okay. and we just get a lot of rain mostly we do get snow but it's not mm-hmm. not even close to like what manitoba or like ontario gets or anything like that so sure i'm thankful sure. for that you got lucky with the the coast water stuff wind i yes. think i know weather all that weather stuff yeah, yeah totally <laughs> real good at it yeah i'm i'm not good with cold i i live in florida no so i'm a little oh yeah no yeah no you're on the exact opposite side of me yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's bad it gets to like 70 degrees here i'll be generous and everyone yeah. is like hoodied up and i'm like oh my i God. wait until at least 60 you know 
you have to oh have my some God. sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But I mean, then that's the opposite for us. Like it's like 15 degrees and people are in like shorts and yeah. which I don't know what the equivalent exactly is to Fahrenheit, but I don't know. Sure. It's so something. cold. To most it's people. cold. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. Does it snow a lot then where you're at? If you've got all the weather? It's, it's decent. It usually snows more in like January, February. Um, mm. We just, we have so much rain. It's a lot of rain, but I don't mind it. I'm actually, yeah. I mean, you get used to it here. Yeah. Sure. It's what you know, right. I guess. Exactly. I mean, you guys get like hurricanes and stuff. So that's true. That's true. And I'm like, <laughs> eh, is it, isn't that weird? It's like what you grow up around, you become like so desensitized yeah. to it. You're like 100 mile an hour winds, whatever. Yeah, it's please. Live to, as long as you're like in a concrete building, you're fine. Yeah. Most of the time. Exactly exactly it's a, it, yeah, yeah it's so it's so weird like people as well whatever you grow up around yeah you're desensitized to because like i'm not afraid totally. of alligators but i probably yeah. should be you know totally I'm, but yeah. i'm not and i grew up around bears like in my backyard so what? i mean not that i'm not afraid of them you <laughs> should be but i'm used to seeing them and if i have like a person from out of the country come over they're like oh my god <laughs> I'm like, it's, fine. it's a bear and you're like yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. It's number and four I feel like today. I was an alligator. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Did yeah. Bear, yeah, because I would freak out if I saw a bear. I'd just be like, look, it's a bear. Yeah, but yeah like, literally, right? Alligators are literally on the side of the road. Alligator. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, right oh on the road. God. Literally. I was on the way to set a few months ago, and as I was driving down the road, there was an alligator in the ditch. And I was like, oh. Oh, just keep hi. <laughs> What's Did, up, is buddy? there a lot of, like, attacks? Not, like not that I know. Well, well, I just yeah. saw a video yesterday of this guy saving his puppy from an alligator. Have you seen that? Oh, yes, I did at the golf course, I think. Yeah. Or something like that. It's I like don't know. A, yeah, that dude, I did that dude's, see that. That dude's 20 minutes away from me. Like, I know exactly no where way. it is. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw that video. I was like, that is insane. It was so sad. I, was like, I know. Oh, my God. Man, and yeah. it, the thing is, like, the video starts with him, like, in the water already. And you're like, what's yeah. this guy doing? Yeah. And then he pulls it up, and you're like, what? Is, is that a puppy? And yeah, then they, and then you hear the puppy, and you're like, oh, I, I was like, thank mouth. God it worked. But, like, yeah. man, what a badass. He kept his cigar I, the whole time. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, the adrenaline must have kicked in. Like, I mean, I would do that the same thing if my dog got oh, same. clutches same. of an alligator. So, yeah, same. 100%. I've got a pug, too, so I'm like, oh, I got Oh, yeah, yeah, then definitely. He's a little guy. I just got him yeah, this year. You just bait. got a dog in the last year, right? Yeah, I did. I got uh, Kevin, yeah, about a year ago, a couple, like a week ago, I got him a year ago. Oh, yeah. right on. How's yeah. that been? Yeah great yeah i love having a dog dogs are the best i agree they really are i agree how old was he when you got him he was a puppy he was he was from like uh he's like a dumpster mutt dog but oh, perfect he was, yeah so am he I. was like yeah right same i know i was like oh me <laughs> yeah and he yeah he was like two months old maybe maybe a little older than that so oh yeah. that's so cute yeah and now he's huge he's huge yeah he's, he's a big like boy now yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah we we just got our same thing he was like two months old actually no he was not he was five weeks because we're like isn't this a little oh, early and they're like just take yeah. him we're like all okay. right <laughs> and it's been oh my God. it's been a learning experience that's for sure yeah. Yeah. puppies are like babies they are though they're a lot of work lot i keep wanting work. to get another one and then i look at videos of him when he was a puppy like with all like the pee pads around everywhere. And all yeah. Stuff. I was like, oh, they literally have to pee every like 15 minutes. Yeah. I didn't know that yeah. at all when we got it. We're like, it'll be fine. Totally oh, no. take advantage. Like I knew they peed, you know, but it's but, like, like a lot. When they're who puppies. knew? And like yeah. the way you have to regulate their food. It's like where they have yeah. to eat three times a day. We're like, okay, so how do we, so it's like eight hours, right? Every eight hours, I think. But then we have to sleep sometime and he yeah. has other ideas. He's like, no, you don't. Yeah, no, no. Then he started eating oh, yeah, the pee no. pads. That's <laughs> my God. Yeah, that happens. I know Kevin still eats like everything. Does he? So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my his name's Kubo, and uh, Kubo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's he's so a little cute. Pug. But he like, you know, dogs. They say they chew everything. He eats everything. Like swallows oh, he it. Eats it. He oh, just no, eats it. He'll just good. take flowers <laughs> off of bushes and just eat them. We're like, what are you doing? It's... Pugs do that though. My friend has a pug and it does that yeah. as well. Yeah, Kevin oh doesn't God. eat them. He just chews everything apart. But that's, yeah, you got to be careful with that one. Yeah, learning, learning that the learning hard way. 
It's like yeah. why 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 are you why are you like this? Come yeah. on, buddy. <laughs> please stop. Please. We feed you enough. You don't need to eat that. for real. And he eats so yeah. fast, and we're like, dude, stop it. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. I got one of those bowls with like a tennis ball in the middle, so they yeah. don't eat a lot. Or like, did it work? Like ones with mazes in it. Yeah, it did. Definitely oh. did. Now but, he just naturally eats slower. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Kubo, yeah. Kubo doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like screw this thing. I don't. Yeah. He also, you know, they have the like the pushed in faces. So like we yeah. tried, we tried that like maze bowl where you got to eat around it. And he, he yeah. couldn't reach the food because he doesn't have oh. a snout. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. That's yeah. awful. Yeah, he's got breathing problems because he's a pug. I have asthma. Yeah. I'm like, same, buddy, same. We're, yeah. <laughs> We're the exact same. I love that's that. Right. I love that. That's right. <laughs> things. Quarantine, man. The things I was I like, know. puppy's a good idea. It takes up time. Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people got puppies in quarantine. At least that probably I know. Be, probably best. Probably best, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, probably. For mental health, for sure. Yeah, I think so. And just, you know, yeah. keep you busy. You know, uh, very, yeah. Eating everything. Yeah. <sighs> this yeah. is a cry for help, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Please send help. Yeah. <laughs> it's keeping me from having any babies anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> Dude, same. My, right? my, my wife and I, like, we didn't want kids beforehand, but now we're yeah. like, oh, yeah, no, for sure. This is this is a no, right? Like kids are way worse, way worse. Oh yeah, way worse. A yeah. dog, you, you can can't just even like leave stick them alone. The yeah, yeah. They can't lift their yeah. heads. They can't do anything. I know, I know. You literally, it's a twenty-four hour job. Like it's <sighs> it's not a you got to keep that thing alive until it's like I don't know, like five. When you can at start least right alone. eight, I, I think. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right? for sure. When do when do they get to where like they won't die immediately? It's got to <laughs> yeah, be right? in the teens, I think. I think. I don't I think so. <laughs> I don't, especially like this generation probably for <laughs> sure it's just it's a lot it's a lot yeah i know yeah. for sure now mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's yeah. fair but it, fair. it it's funny my my friend talked about that like having a dog and like having a kid sometimes it's like stockholm syndrome you know where you're oh, yeah. like you're like you're not sleeping at all you're kind of crazy you're like but i love it so much you know <laughs> yeah totally yeah exactly i mean completely runs my life i can't I get it. Sleep. I know if I had a kid, I'd probably love it, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> in theory, but I'm not willing to take that risk. Probably like, <laughs> hate it at the same time. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> it hits five and you just open the door. Just just be yeah, free. Like, I'm done. Just go. This was fun. <laughs> yeah. This was good. You have I'm a good time? I'm going to adopt a 17-year-old or something. That's the way to go, I think. That's I think the way so. to go. <laughs> they can, they don't need 18. the maze bowls anymore. Like, you're fine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I love it. Oh God. Yeah. It's life, man. It's life. Yeah. It's, I know. So you, I know you were a hairstylist, are a hairstylist. Yeah. Yes. Is that the, is that the term hairstylist? Yeah. Hairdresser? Hairstylist, hairdresser, whatever. Yeah. You just answered all of it. Yeah. That works. Basically. That works. Was this, was that something you always wanted to do? Um, not necessarily. I, uh, I left high school, went right into post-secondary and I wanted to get into teaching. Um, oh. so I did two years and then I was just like, eh, eh, I don't know if this is actually what I want to do. <laughs> sure. And I was like, well, I've always wanted to try hair, uh, doing hair. So I dropped out and then I did hair school and then I did that for like three years now or so three, four years, four years. And then, um, yeah, and then quarantine happened. So, and I just had my own business. I just worked from home, so I had to like oh, close cool. my doors. And then I started TikTok for no apparent reason. Yeah. I did not join TikTok to become quote unquote TikTok famous or anything like that. It just kind sure. of happened. So, sure. so I was like, okay, cool. And now like this is my job, which is kind of crazy. And I still do like hair on the side, but um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's been a wild journey for me in 2020. <laughs> yeah, on top of yeah. everything else. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, neat exactly. though. Is, yeah. is hair school like, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know these yeah. things. Do you have like okay. unsuspecting victims come in and you're like, we'll try it. And then does everyone oh. leave with a bowl cut? Like, how does this happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like the people that come in to get their hair done at hair school. You yeah. Mean? Yeah. And I mean, it's always the people that just want their hair done super cheap because yep. like we charge nothing to do their hair. And half of the time they walk out with not good hair. It was I didn't do that bad. I was actually not that bad of a student. That's good. Except for one where oh. I did make a girl's hair fall out, but it was kind of oh. her fault. <laughs> what? Okay, not hold on. It. What did you not do? all of it. <laughs> well, I bleached it, but she didn't tell me her 
hair history. I asked her if she'd ever used certain products that would make her hair fall out. And she was like, no, no, I've never used them. That's fine. And I was like, okay, great. So I bleached her hair, did everything properly. And then her hair started falling out and I started crying. It was bad. <laughs> and we had to like cut her hair off. And love, luckily she was actually quite nice. She wasn't like a Karen or anything. So oh. yeah, that was probably the worst, worst part of doing hair. Oh. That traumatized me. Uh, and are we talking like just like in the movies, just like Clumps. clumps? Oh, yeah, no. yeah, it was bad. It was what? bad. I was like, why didn't you tell me that you used this product? And she's like, oh, I just didn't think it would matter. I was like, I literally told you that it would matter. <laughs> <laughs> and it would make your hair fall out. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's my bad. I'm like, okay, well, you're getting a real nice like bowl cut bob <laughs> today. So. <laughs> and her hair was like down her butt, basically. I was like, oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, it was bad <laughs> oh, wow that's yeah and you yeah, kept going exposed. good for you yep <laughs> you know I did <laughs> I had a lot my teachers really had to talk me down I'm like it wasn't yeah. your fault I was like I don't I don't deserve to be here I suck <laughs> like, it's what fine. have I done <laughs> yeah literally like I ruined her life oh no, my fine. god what a way to she, go she rocked the haircut it's okay there you go <laughs> Good for her. That's <laughs> exactly. That's a, that's a, that is trial by fire, isn't it? Yeah, wow. it is. That's just, so that's a tip. Just always tell your hairdresser your, uh, what the hell you've done to your hair. Otherwise your hair could fall out. Wow. You know, that yeah. is whew, cheap haircuts, Nightmare. man. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like, exactly. listen, you knew walking in here that I'm learning. So yeah, exactly. Fault is I know. Really? You, you took the risk. <laughs> yeah. <Got it. laughs> I Thank specifically you. asked, have you used these products? <laughs> this is on you, and you just start pulling clumps out. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Oh, my God. Just washing her hair with my tears. That's right. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that works. I've heard. It's, yeah, the, it, it's yeah. just getting the quantity. Not everyone can do it. Not everyone can do <laughs> yeah, it. Exactly. Exactly. That's yeah, no, good times. Good did, times. You, did you pick it up pretty easily, or was it something you had to, like, work on a bunch? Um, I actually, I... I'm pretty artsy and that kind of thing. So I picked it up pretty quickly. There was like, uh, obviously we, we have to learn like color theory and all that kind of stuff. Just stuff that sure. you need to base. It just comes with time and stuff. But I did pick it up pretty quickly, I think. I passed, so we're yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, right. I got that <laughs> I made paper. my own business and I have clients. So I guess some people like me. <laughs> I think so. I think that counts. Yeah. As yeah. Long as, does, that, does that woman know that you started your own business? Because we might need to. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> no, she never came back. <laughs> and it, we might need to start looking out for some vendetta stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no, she doesn't know where I live. It's fine. Probably, probably best. Uh, probably best. Yeah, probably case. the best. 100%. Did you do like? I know there's people that like do like cutting, and then there's people that do like color and stuff like that. Did you kind of dabble yeah. in all of it, or you have a special? Yeah, I just do. I do all of it basically. Nice. I do, but I uh, I don't do like perms and stuff like that because I don't think anyone does. No, exactly. <laughs> Nobody really does anymore unless no, you're like allowed. 85 years old. Yeah. So I'm just like, ever, okay. Have you ever handled not, a beehive? You know, oh, the, the old no. Lady? Yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> I have not. I, I mostly deal with people like, <laughs> I'd say like 50 and under. <laughs> okay. Okay. Probably. And, probably. Yeah. Just, just no. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> have you, so then if, Losing your hair is an option here. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that a common thing that happens with hair dye? Because obviously, I, I don't know. Uh, well, it it happens a lot if people like bleach their own hair because they don't know how oh. to do, like work with bleach and basically it just like breaks down your hair uh, oh. cuticle, right? So it, yeah, you see a lot of YouTube videos of like girls doing like their hair at home and they fail and like all their hair falls out. That's when that happens. Huh. But it does not usually happen in a hair salon unless something like <laughs> unless a freak accident like that happens when yeah. So sure. no, it does not happen that often. <laughs> ideally. Ideally. Yes. <laughs> exactly. That sounds like there's a lot of chemistry that goes on to this stuff. There is. And I was upset about that when I went into because I like dropped university. I'm like, I want to look do that. And then they're like, okay, here's math. I was like, ew, <laughs> no. I don't want to do that. I came here for hair. It's not it's not that hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. No, it's not that it's not that complicated. Well, there you go. There you go. You said you're into artsy stuff growing up. That's cool. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've played every sport under the sun, but I also like oh, like right to on. paint and draw and all that kind of stuff. No way. Yeah, cool. I actually went to university for soccer. That's why I ended up going to university. What? And I was like, yeah, yeah. and I, <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. I was going to either do softball, because I actually got a full ride to North Dakota, but then I had to choose Sweet. between softball and soccer, so I chose I chose soccer, because it was like in my hometown still, and I just like, sure. I just didn't feel like going. But yeah. big, I think soccer is my favorite sport, so that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, I really like soccer. That's probably my favorite sport to play. You got to have lungs for that. You do. You, I was lungs. a winger, too. So. Oh, dude. Lots of running back and forth, that's you you don't hear a lot of people that get full rides from athletics also being into art though that's pretty neat yeah it's kind of weird i guess yeah i don't know i was always yeah doing literally like basketball tracks uh, volleyball uh, just everything since i was little i did one year of dance and i Ooh. sucked so that's something i can't do <laughs> it was irish dancing and i was oh, just dude. not the whole <laughs> yeah hot, like hot river gold. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Ooh. I just could not do that. And then, yeah. And then I took like every art class along with that too. So I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, you can't freaks. have it all, Chris, you know? No, you, you can't. You can't, can't also I, so dance. I cannot Irish dance. Yeah. Not very well. Yeah. Leave that to someone else. You've got art, yeah, exactly. you've got sports, you've got comedy. You get, come on, man. I know. I know. I'm, I'm here no, to I tell see all the that. people dancing on TikTok and stuff, and I'm like, I'm happy for them because yeah. I won't ever be one of those people. <laughs> you can have that one. Enjoy. Yeah, you can have that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll do my stupid skit. That's funny. So Irish yeah. dance is crazy. Yeah, I, I remember I saw it one time, and it's the idea that your top half can't move, but your bottom yeah. half can move very quickly. That was my problem. I yeah. was like the six-year-old in class with my hands waving all over the place. At one time, I had my teacher tape my hands to my side because she's like, you cannot move your hands. That's the whole point of river dance. Like, you have to keep your hands straight. I was like, sure. take this. I should have been in a pop and lock break dance group or something like that. Like, Just put I, me upside down on cardboard. So I'll do bad. this. Yeah. I was, there's videos of me on stage. I was like, I don't even know, like six or something. And I'm, I'm just staring at everybody else's feet because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just. Uh, yeah, wasn't my thing. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. So yeah you, I was you, an improv dancer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, you, the, the thing is, I find that you're, you commit. You know what I mean? You can't yeah, be hot and cold. Exactly. You're either completely hot or completely cold. Exactly. I, I respect that. I respect yeah, that I went max nice. effort. Just didn't work out that well. That's all you yeah. got to do. That's all you got to do. I know. That's what I'm That's saying. That's funny. What, what kind <laughs> of painting did you do? Um, I do, uh, I grew up watching pop, or Bob Ross. <laughs> Pop and Ross? That name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My words aren't working right out. And I grew up watching him and stuff. So I started to do uh, a lot of landscape when I was younger. And then wow. I, I've d I do a lot of landscape now. Not so much. Anymore. I don't have time to do a lot anymore, but I try to. Fair. And Fair. then I, uh, I started experimenting with resin and abstract um, painting during wow. quarantine and stuff. And it, it was super fun. So that's kind of something you can like just not even think about and just do. And then landscapes just i don't know it's just great that's i'm cool. always like doing snowy mountains and that kind of thing i really like it <laughs> i like that that's cool yeah Not everyone can do yeah. that just put a happy yeah. little tree honestly though anybody can it's 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 pretty <laughs> simple it's just like you just need to have the time to do it that's the only thing yeah that makes sense yeah that makes sense yeah bob ross yeah. it's a good one to have in the pocket exactly exactly no such thing as mistakes only happy yeah. little accidents isn't that nuts like i yeah. I, I like watching his videos like old yeah. episodes and whatnot, and be like, oh, right, he messed up. <gasps> it's a wave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, like, dude. I know. It's amazing. And he's like, yeah, he's such a cool guy. And he like started painting because he had PTSD and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a really cool guy to watch. That's neat. Yeah. Very soothing. Yes. Which is what everyone needs these days some sort yes. of <laughs> soothing type Calm. of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, for sure bonkers i it is yeah. interesting i've talked to uh, a few tiktokers on on this show as well and it's quarantine man it's like yeah what else are you gonna do and then you find these yeah. people like yourself that are like tiny hands you know and you're like yeah. oh right <laughs> cool i know <laughs> so random the timing of it all it's kind of weird right to look back it, and like yeah oh that's huh because you don't yeah. think about it i'm sure as you're doing it you're like oh i'm just gonna do this thing and then yeah. oh, totally. the serendipity of it all is just bonkers. 
it, it totally is. Yeah. And the tiny hands was just a total fluke. I just thought they might be funny in a skit yeah. like one time. So I ordered them <laughs> off Amazon at like 2 a.m. And then they came the, the next best. day and I did them on a video and everybody loved them. And now people just get physically mad at me if I don't have <laughs> tiny hands in my videos. <laughs> They're like, where are they? <laughs> that's how that, that's how that works. Funny. Any sort know, of audience. It's like, that's your thing. And you're like, what? No, yeah. no, I have real hands. <laughs> yeah. So what do I do? I come out with tiny hand merch. <laughs> Perfect. But hey, give the people what they want. You exactly. Know? <laughs> I've been to that. Exactly. Were, were yeah. you on like any apps before TikTok? Like, were you active on any of the other ones and kind of doing the thing or? It, not, I mean, yes, but I have always been kind of that person that posts like once a year and, and sure. posts like, this is what my face looks like. If anybody was wondering, like, it's <laughs> sure. just like, I had like a, maybe a couple hundred followers on Instagram just because like people from high school and stuff. Cause I mm -hmm. think Instagram didn't come out until I was in like grade 12. Or, 11 sure. or something like that. I didn't care. And then <laughs> Facebook was kind of still irrelevant to me. So no, not really. Um, and that's what's kind of funny about all this and everything. Everybody I know, like my family and friends, they just think it's hilarious that I'm the one that kind of became quote unquote like <laughs> TikTok like internet famous. Sure. <laughs> because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, and I don't like I don't I don't care about numbers and all that stuff. I'm very grateful, but it's just like it's just funny. It's I'm having so much fun. And the fact that this gets, this just all happened, is it's just ironic. It's very ironic. <laughs> sure. I mean, I yeah. think that's why it's working though, because uh, from yeah, a, from a fan, obviously it's like, I can see that you're having fun and that's kind of the, the genius of it all. Cause you can tell when someone's trying too hard and you're like, yeah, I don't really want this, you know, but like, yeah, you're making things that make you laugh. And that's, yeah. what, that's, what's good. You're not trying to make me laugh per se. You're doing what yeah. makes you laugh and that makes me laugh. It's genius. Totally. Yeah. And that's a bonus. I just like, I love making people happy, but I'm still, the, when I started to get um, a, a, a gradual or a very fast gradual uh, following, I was like, okay, I'm going to make sure I'm still going to do what I like to do. I'm not going to do stuff just because I feel like I need to do stuff. So I've, I've still kept to that and I hope to still keep to that. <laughs> sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I think, I think people enjoy it and stuff and not, obviously not every video is going to do like amazing, but I don't know. It's, yeah. Uh, I, I'm just still having fun with it. So yeah, it's, it's good. I think that's the key. I think that's yeah, the key. Yeah, I think it, so too. It keeps the relationship with the creator and the audience, I think, where it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Because like you said, you can totally tell. You can yeah. totally tell when people are just like in it for to be TikTok famous or like to, for the mm. numbers or all that kind of stuff. And it's mm -hmm. kind of cringy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and exactly. I'm all for people having goals and everything like that. Like, if you want to go for it, but you can tell when people just start to do like what's just what's trending or just this stuff. Like, like just be yourself. Like, yeah, have your own personality. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, be a person. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not a robot that That's copies right. everybody. <laughs> That's right. Don't don't give me what I want. Make me want <laughs> yeah. what you got. <laughs> exactly. That's how exactly. it works. That's really it how is. it works. That's totally. nuts. So then, was yeah. there? Do you remember when you first started this, when it first started getting traction and you're like, oh, that's kind of weird. Cause you didn't do it for the traction. You did it cause you're yeah, hilarious. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was pretty quickly. I think I had been doing it for maybe two or three weeks and mm. I had like a couple hundred followers and I was like, sick. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> nailed is it. this TikTok fame? Like, I don't even know, but I'll take it. <laughs> and, um, and then like one night I, I posted a video and it did, it did pretty well. It got like 300,000 views or something like that Ooh. for somebody with only a couple hundred followers. I was like, Oh my gosh, like this is viral. <laughs> it's crazy. And I got like 5,000 more followers overnight and I made a video just like what, I don't get it, but thank you for following me and everything. <laughs> and then it started to go up like 5,000 every day. And then it started to go up like 10,000 every day and 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. And it just kind of kept going. And I think it started to be like a million a week in like Eesh. October ish Dude. and not necessarily every single week, but just like, I don't even understand these numbers. I don't know where these people are. Coming <laughs> these aren't <from>. real. <laughs> these are, yeah. Like, I, I don't know where they're coming from. I'm very grateful and everything, but yeah, it's just, it's bizarre. So it just, it hasn't really stopped. It's just kind of kept growing. And I sure. have days that ebb and flow, obviously, with following and 
but yeah, it's just bizarre. Is that is that <laughs> so weird? Bizarre. It's got to be weird to like. So, how do you contextualize? I haven't even gotten used to it. Yeah, yeah. I like I can't like I don't know what I'm at now. I think maybe twelve point six or twelve point seven or something like that. But it's huh. like you can't think like I can't think even think like how um, how many a million is. So like yeah, that's in my not a brain, real number. <laughs> no, it it can't be. You know, it's just like no, there's no way. So yeah, every every time I hit a milestone, I'm just just as confused, even more confused, yeah. <laughs> and thankful but confused. <laughs> sure, it's... glad people are entertained. <laughs> what are your notifications like? They're off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have notifications, man. I Smart. don't. I I had Smart. to turn them off like very you have early to. on. Yeah, like I never got, I was the person that like got one text a day and it was from my mom. Yeah. <laughs> so I went from that to like millions of notifications a day and I'm like, I can't do that. Like that is ridiculous. So, sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I always wonder that anyone that gets sort of tracked, I was like, there's no way they're on. There's no, no. way. If I do turn them on my screen, because I have tried that once and my screen just doesn't go black. <laughs> <laughs> I lose just, battery Duh. real fast. <laughs> yeah, it twigs out. <laughs> Yeah. Oh God. yeah yeah that's that's bonkers Crazy. i i it is. Get, i get notifications of like remember that comment you made like months ago nobody liked it <laughs> yeah. and i'm like why like, are yes. you telling me this <laughs> yeah like i don't that's great awesome cool all i said totally. was good job but all right <laughs> yeah totally totally oh man yeah. you're you're really good at lip syncing like oh thanks <laughs> next level type stuff so like thanks how many tries does it take on average oh man well and that's like that's kind of how I did got my start too like I was only lip syncing I think up until I got like 800,000 or like a million followers I was literally only lip syncing sure. <laughs> so I don't do it that much anymore but um when I did do it I would just do it until I thought it was perfect and oh, sometimes boy. that took like five minutes and sometimes that took like 30 minutes so that's a pretty good like, turnaround given I would get yeah no I would I would get so frustrated though sometimes and then I was like why can't I was just scared to make my own original content because especially sure. since I got so many followers from lip syncing I thought like people would get mad at me if I just started doing my oh, own stuff sure. so I just tried to started to sprinkle it in and then people were like we like this and I'm like okay I'm gonna drop <laughs> the lip syncing sometimes sure. I do it here and there but um yeah, it's uh, I really like lip syncing though. It's really fun and like putting your own spin on it and stuff. It's it's fun. Yeah, I yeah. I love I love watching videos and stuff like that because like I can see how much work it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was like this is totally. this didn't just happen. You know? Yeah. Like, dancing's hard, but like you do, you set your camera up, you do the dance type thing. But with yeah. scenes, with characters and angles, you're like, this was this was a lot of work. I can see. Yeah. It. Oh. totally totally That's yeah not, yeah what? but with the lip syncing and stuff it, yeah it's like it's like acting basically right? yeah 100 so, percent. which, which 100%. yeah i didn't even really realize until somebody else pointed that out i'm like oh yeah i guess yeah <laughs> <laughs> maybe i don't know yeah you gotta sure. you gotta commit real hard to it you gotta commit yeah you do it's that's yeah just got so much work do you so where do you find like your ideas like your characters and stuff like that is it just like i'm feeling this way boom knock them out yeah pretty much Beautiful. i'm not gonna lie yeah it doesn't really come i mean obviously like my mom like my actual mom character it, it obviously comes from being sure. raised by her and all that <laughs> kind of stuff but yeah like all my accents and different characters kind of just come out of nowhere sure sure <laughs> and it comes it comes from a place where like when i was younger i always wanted to kind of entertain people and i always practiced like accents and Nice. different faces and all that kind of stuff. I never necessarily wanted to be an actor, be famous or anything like that. I just really like to entertain people. So sure. I think it just comes a lot from, from that. Yeah. <laughs> all the little people in my head are able to come out now. Onto there a you go. <laughs> hey, you got to make them work for you. I understand. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's a special kind of crazy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean, nobody that does entertainment isn't, you know. It's true. So. It is very true. Make hay while the sun shines, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. I'm into it. Yeah. I'm into it. Yeah. Cool. What, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, and apparently I'm not alone. Uh, what yeah. is what video does anything stick out in your head as the, the one that took the longest? Where you're like, oh, that one. Um, I started to do these um, character meetings now. Oh, yeah. They're I don't great. Know if you've seen them. I but have. yeah, Fantastic. and I posted one today too. And I uh, I have to like change or 
I don't necessarily have to like get into character or anything. I'm not like a method actor. Sure, <laughs> like sure. But it's just a lot of changing and then changing angles and then trying to think of dialogue and because I kind of just improv off my dialogue. Beautiful. And then if something kind of went so, a different way, then I, I and I don't like it, then I have to delete it all and start all over again with all of my different characters. So it's oh. probably those ones that take the longest. Sure. <laughs> Oh my yeah. God. See, yeah. Work. But it's fun. And then I don't I don't watch it until I'm completely done all of my characters and all the cuts. Oh, so like when I smart. finish the video, I'm like, oh, this came together nicely, or oh, I hate this. I need to start. With it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, those probably take the longest. <laughs> I bet. I bet. See, work. People yeah. people don't work. as a, as it's people hard. who can it's the difference between like a consumer of content and a creator of content. It's like for sure you you take advantage of like oh this is like a really fun thing i'm like you don't look at this look at what's happening yeah. look at the seams here this is insane. yeah totally have you do you work in like that kind of yeah podcast, yeah i'm an actor like in that industry mm -hmm. yeah there you mm -hmm. go so you can you appreciate all the different cuts so and many stuff, things right same here when i watch a video i'm like oh that probably took forever yeah <laughs> like, yeah. yeah so i appreciate it that much more for yeah. sure same same yeah I, one of my favorites her name's uh Gemma weston she does this like filter and she has a character named Connie. That's just really, really funny. Uh, she's, oh, been on, nice. she's been on the show before. And uh, I, I, same thing with her. I was like, I yeah. watch you do these things. And then I immediately applaud you because I can see what <laughs> happened here and nobody yeah. gets it. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. It makes it all that much more worth it when people are like, Hey, I really appreciate that. <laughs> like, yeah. It took the time to do that. Exactly. I mean, you I, know. I wish I wish I could be good at dancing and do all those like freaking <laughs> 10 second little dances and get a million likes, but I kind of stuck myself in the skit corner, which I'm totally go. happy with. It's hey, it's my I'm glad. thing and I and I like it. So <laughs> I've I've gotten a lot of joy. That that's another thing I've good. been really I mean, grateful is the word, is like people like yourself that are making this stuff that makes people laugh and makes people happy when things are on fire everywhere. Yeah. It's like I appreciate it that much more that I got a little bit of joy from this. Like yeah. this made me laugh a lot. So thank you for that. Totally. Oh, you're welcome. That makes me, and that's, yeah, that's why I like doing it too. I just, I get so many messages every day and stuff saying similar stuff that you just said. And I'm, I'm like, okay. Like, I just think they're <laughs> stupid little videos, but I'm like, if it helped you out today, that makes me so happy. Like that's so yeah. cool. And I never thought I'd be able to do something like that for people. So yeah, it's kind of cool having this platform now where I can, actually like do stuff I like and talk about stuff that's important to me like mental health or all that kind of stuff yeah totally and, um yeah I just yeah I never expected this all to happen I love that <laughs> I I yeah. love also like the I mean it just goes to show humanity doesn't it like connecting with yeah. people of like I'm putting my signal out and there will be people that are in the same frequency and you're like oh totally right you think yeah. that's funny I think that's funny we'll laugh together and then there's a real human moment there even though we don't know each other you know yeah it's, it's created cool. it's such a cool community tiktok and like yeah and yeah i never thought that like my issues would be the same as other people's issues or what i would think was funny like that this many people would think is funny too so it's yeah it's kind of cool to see especially yeah. this sh shitty time like you're talking about like, for real it, it just makes yeah. human connection that much more important i think you know it does especially it with does. the internet because the internet is both the best and the worst thing ever created you know yep 100 <laughs> percent so if you can, like, you can very easily go down a black hole or you can go to your TikTok. You're like, hey, hey, all yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Yay. That's right. And I love it. I, the, the CEO of Facial Expressions is a title well-earned. I'll give it. Oh, thank uh, you. Props, props for that. <laughs> How, do, you, you. do you ever spend time in the mirror seeing just what your face can do a la Jim Carrey or are you normal? Um, actually I never, I never even knew I was that expressive. I gave, gave myself that title because people in my comments gave me that title when I started doing the lip Rightfully syncs and stuff. So. And I was like, I guess I'm expressive, which a lot of people <laughs> when I was younger told me I was, sure. um, but I definitely have practiced certain faces in the mirror, like how Jim Carrey practices, like his Grinch face. And, yeah. like, really, that I've nuts. definitely practiced those before. Yeah. It's cool. So I remember doing a video like way back when, and people were saying like, oh, female Jim Carrey and stuff like that. So I put my face besides his face when he was doing really weird Ooh. faces. And I was, I was pretty proud of myself. I could do like, <laughs> I kind of scared myself actually. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's weird what there. I could do with my face. <laughs> I've been, I have terrified myself in the mirror before. Like, right? What if I yeah. did this face? And then I'm like, yeah. I'm never like, doing oh, that God. again. 
why, <laughs> yeah, why exactly. can I do that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So yeah, I don't know. Like you said, we're all, we're all crazy. Anybody yeah. in the entertainment business is crazy. I think. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yes, exactly. Jim Carrey though, man, the, the thing He's like so growing up watching Ace Ventura and yeah. stuff like that. I'm like, how do you, what are those muscles? Or the mask. And, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Wow. He's, he's crazy. He goes max effort into everything he does. Yeah. I love it. And it works. He's definitely one of my top. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally. A hundred. Yeah. Everything he does. Nuts. Is so good. Nuts. I love it. I love it. Yeah. It's, so what is like the average? Do you do the process? So like I'm an idiot when it comes to TikTok. I'm still figuring that out. <laughs> but like <laughs> you have to, you know, record it records and then yeah. you can stop recording and it does things do you just make your videos like linear like that yeah i what? do because it's all improv like yeah. i don't like sit down and write a dialogue what? i uh or sometimes if i do like my mom toddler character sometimes i'll do uh -huh. like all of my mom parts and then fill in then fill it in and then i'll adjust everything in the editing but i uh -huh. usually 90 percent of the time i do everything linear wow. so that's what i mean when i'm like when i'm doing a character then I sure. change it to my yes, other which... character and then I change it to my next year. <laughs> That's it's nuts. probably not an effective yeah. <laughs> way or time effective way of doing things, but it's just how my brain works. So sure. I have to do it that way. Wow. And you yeah. do all this in the app? In the app, yeah. I'm wow. not I'm super stupid when it comes yeah. to editing and all that kind of stuff. And TikTok's Same. honestly a pretty decent app to edit. Like, sure. I, I just do basic stuff. I'm not doing anything like any transition things or right. crazy. So yeah, no, I, wow. just use, I just use TikTok. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I love hearing processes as well. Because again, I yeah. already can see the work that goes into it and I really appreciate it. But now even more so that you're like, oh, hold on. Right. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> literally. <I know. laughs> it's kind of, I'm actually filming a YouTube video today and I just, I showed the process of me filming a TikTok and I'm sure it'll ruin it for so many people. <laughs> they just see me like, <laughs> right, hold on, uh, hat, all right, uh, glasses. <laughs> exactly. Get my tiny hands. That's right. Like, Quick. <laughs> Yeah, so that's me. And I still like film on my windowsill, like not even with a phone stand. I like Perfect. have it propped up against a dollar store bottle still. Get it? Like Get I don't it. you know, like you don't need like all this no. crazy equipment or anything to have a platform, which is really cool, I think. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And yeah. YouTube, you made the jump to YouTube recently. I've seen the videos. They're fantastic. How's that been? Thank you. Thank you. It's been good. I'm still learning. Again, like I said, I'm not like an editor or anything like that. I'm, I'm still learning with that kind of stuff and mm -hmm. trying to figure out where my YouTube channel is going to go. It's kind sure. of like a vlog thing right now, but mm -hmm. I kind of want to start doing skits on there too, like longer ones. Cool. Um, so yeah, I think I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fully quit my, my yeah. real job because I, <laughs> I keep hanging on to my hairdressing job just because I'm such a pessimist and I think this is all going to go to shit like one yeah, day, which is I fine, you. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> why would this work? Job, right. <laughs> why is this working? It's 2020. Why is anything working? That's right. That's but right. Yeah. So once I, once I bite the bullet and actually fully quit my job, I think I'm going to start going like a few or like a couple videos a week for YouTube and throw skits in there and just like go full bananas create creativity Dude. on there. <laughs> That'd be fun. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's cool. And it's yeah. it's a different platform for sure. To way different platform. Totally. Yeah. TikTok's so easy. Like yeah. not easy, but it's just a minute, right? So it's sure it's not that hard to come up with stuff or like easier to come up with a minute dialogue. But if I was to do like five minutes like it'd be a lot more work yeah <laughs> but, it's five I mean, times the amount of work <laughs> exactly <laughs> what the hell yeah and it's on like an actual camera and it's like i gotta like yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be good. it'll be good though like it's super fun work and i and i love doing it so but it's, it's a lot of work i have a new appreciation for like youtubers and people that do this like these kind of videos, like I, you look at them and you're like, oh yeah, whatever. It can't be that hard. And then you're like, oh, I am up till 2 a.m. And I wake up at 5 a.m. to this mm -hmm. with somebody. And it, you know, it's, it's actually, it's actually a lot of work, but oh, again, yeah. like I said, it's fun work, but it is actually a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like one of my favorite so, things I've heard from people on the show is like a dream job, still a job. And you're like, yeah, oh, right. hundred percent. That is That's so good. Yeah. 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 People just think I like sit around and just like make a TikTok and I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to go drink champagne now. But it's like, no, 
No, okay, not at all. I bust out like 20 TikToks in a day. I gotta like try to film for YouTube. I work my other job and then I have my mm-hmm. dog who's basically a toddler. It's just like, you know what? It's, it's still a job. Yeah. <laughs> but if I can't go home knew. from this job. <laughs> Yeah, that's the that's real the thing. thing too. Yeah. yeah, and that's you got to know. I've and I've I've struggled with this. Is you got to learn how to just like turn off this job. Like oh yeah, bed and because it's it's really hard not to like keep working or keep keep doing whatever. Going through com- uh, like commenting back on comments or all this kind of stuff. It's like it's yeah. got to stop at one point during the day. Otherwise, you just go mental. Right. It actually yeah. is that. It, do you find that harder then because you have such a following now? Do you feel a pressure to where you like have to be on the wheel longer? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Cause I'm such a, I'm such a people pleaser. So right, <laughs> when yeah, I yeah. remember when, like before, when I started to get really big, really fast, I still, I still go back to like every single comment. Like I would spend hours on my phone when I, when it was quarantined for me, just getting mm-hmm. back to comments. And I realized how bad that was for me. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, at one point, like I try to get back to as many people as possible after I post a video and then I just got to leave it and then maybe come back to it at night. But yeah, there's like, there has to be balance in there now. And people have to know that I can't go through 50,000 comments <laughs> and get back to everybody. And I try to like as many as possible too and everything, but sure. yeah, it kind of, it kind of kills the people, people pleaser in me, but it's, yeah. <laughs> there's just no way. There's no way. I'm not a robot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yet, you know, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> just enhancements as best we can yeah exactly <laughs> do you do you like like now that you're dabbling in youtube do you like longer content yeah. being because it's a different animal you know it it is a completely different animal it's it's a it's a lot more work to do mm-hmm. youtube for sure um and like i said i feel like i need to really find my niche to um I, I mean, I enjoy what I'm doing now. I actually, I quite like it. And I got like my boyfriend involved and all that kind of stuff. Or yeah. he wanted to be involved in my YouTube and stuff, which I think is cool. I and agree. it's kind of just letting people into my life and kind of get to know me rather than just all my skits, which I kind of like too. Sure. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, me learning how to how to balance the the YouTube and maybe try to get it done quicker because I take so long to like edit <laughs> stuff and or maybe it'll become down to me having to like hire an editor of some sort or something but I'm so like anal when it comes to this kind of stuff so right. I've had so many people offer they're like hey I can edit your YouTube video I'm like no that's like, okay you know, neither of us it. want that <laughs> no yeah fuck slightly OCD it's like I got it but, yeah so yeah. yeah it's just I just gotta get used to it a little bit more I've only done I don't even know how many YouTube videos, maybe like 10 or 12. Sure. I don't even know. Something like that. I don't that. even know. I lost count. Yeah. I, I just went down so the it'll, hole. <laughs> Yeah. It'll be, it'll be a learning curve again. Just like, just like TikTok was. I didn't know what the hell I was doing with TikTok either. And then I found out what I wanted to do. So there you go. And <laughs> yeah. you're just thinking like, well, my hair is not falling out. So yeah. Learning curve's a little better. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I love that. <laughs> exactly. Actually, how many colors have you dyed your hair? Because it's been a lot. Oh, a lot, a lot. Um, yeah. I don't even know. Honestly, it started. It all, <laughs> all started when I hit a million, and I had another podcaster like bet me if I would make it to a million, and then I had to dye my hair purple, and then I did the Harley Quinn hair, yeah. and then I did. I don't even know. I don't even know silver, and then I did <laughs> purple again, and then I did orange, and then I a mm-hmm. lot, a lot. Yeah, people are still trying to get me to do green, and I'm not gonna do green. Yeah. Um, Green's not oh, and thing. then I did blue too. I actually quite liked the blue when I did the blue. I might do blue again. So I don't, I don't know. I'm a hairdresser, which is kind of a bonus. So I can just do it from home. And it's no That's big true. Deal. I've seen yeah. the videos of the, the paintbrush. Yeah. Right. Do a new thing. Doesn't mean I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta like do behind my back. Like That's right. Mirror. That's why we've but... never seen the back of your head. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> still remnants of all exactly. the colors. Yeah. Literally, I just showed <laughs> shitty rainbow back there that's right <laughs> <laughs> looks like the fountain drinks when you get one of everything <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly exactly just brown <laughs> yeah totally oh, man. yeah that's fun there i took a go. break from that i didn't do that for 12 billion sure um, and i don't know if i'll do it if i hit 13 i probably will take a break from it there too just be- because it's happening so fast now i'm like i will destroy my hair right you're like <laughs> i still like my week. hair guys <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna have a buzz cut by the end of this bleached eyebrows that's right you, you'll, so, yeah. you'll have to get a perm at that point 
Yeah, like, yeah what are we doing? exactly. <laughs> Maybe if I ever hit 14, I'll do something again. But there you go. No. You'll pick, you'll pick yeah. up river dancing again at a certain yeah. level, you know? Yeah. We'll do like, that we'll, would be good. we'll do it like 20. That yeah. Seems like, <laughs> yeah. <you know. laughs> I love that. At 20, give it another shot, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah get ptsd <laughs> that's right that's all you need and then at 25 you'll do it with your hands taped you know yeah. we, got, we got tears here it's like a kickstarter you know? yeah i love it i love it yeah you gotta get creative with those milestones that's right that's right yeah. i that's something i find that tiktok does really well it kind of by having the limitation it kind mm -hmm. of breeds the creativity it's like vine right vine yep, you have seven seconds yep. good luck you're like well you have yep. to really stretch that tiktok's the same way i find yeah. Oh, I do too. I, I get so, because I film linearly, linearly, mm. is that a word? It know. is now. Um, linearly. Yeah, there I go. I'll uh, give it to you. Linear, <laughs> linearly. Um, I, I have so much dialogue back to back to back to back and I, I, I get to the minute mark and I'm like, ah, crap. Like I made this too long oh, or like yeah. I could have shortened it. Just like all my skits oh, no. are like a minute long <laughs> because I just like, my brain doesn't stop working until it's like, you can't record anymore. And I'm like, oh, Right. Like I really got to stop doing this. So, <laughs> but you have to fit so much into that, into those 60 seconds. So, or you don't even have to, like, I just, right. I, just, I, do, I do too much. I should probably do shorter skits. <laughs> I just like the, the buildup and the climax and then the, the punchline. I just like, I it need works. a minute. Yeah. I, have, I don't know. <laughs> hey, it works for me. It works for me. But yeah, you're totally right. We're like, you need to be quick and you need to make content that's going to grab the viewer like in the first two seconds otherwise we're just going to scroll so yeah that yeah. for you page man it just no no eh, eh. all right yep all right all right next yep. it's, it's addicting yeah it's bonkers yep. but no I, i've been i genuinely i've been loving your youtube it's it's really cool i like oh thank you obviously like the my kind of thing is like getting to know people you know what i mean like yeah. i love your content but i am just as interested if not more so in you as a person which is my whole oh, show cool. okay thank you, you know? <laughs> so it's it's interesting yeah. to have videos like that like the the back and forth you did with aaron was hilarious and awesome and like yeah i, I just love that because we forget Wicked. and we forget in a consumer-based economy that like yeah you're a person you know what i mean like yeah. you have done things and like you're into art and i think that's the coolest thing in the world and like all oh, right you make me laugh but also who are you? And it's, you do other stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but it's so true. No, you don't, yeah. tiny hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like with my favorite YouTubers and stuff, if they ever did like a vlog, I'm like, oh, yeah. cool. Like, what do they actually do like, for, yeah. for their day? All that kind of stuff, right? So, and I just don't think of myself as that still. Like, I'm just like, right. no, I'm just like that person that watches the stuff. And now I and now I make it. So it's just bizarre when people are like, what do you eat in a day? I'm like, why do you care? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah you know that's the thing but i was always that kind of person i was like oh what does that person eat in a day like that's very interesting or just whatever it doesn't need to be eat in a day but you know I what mean, i mean it kind of does like, though right <laughs> but, <laughs> like, yeah. i want to know like what what's uh, yeah at, on that vein favorite kind of cereal go oh uh know, probably right? cinnamon toast crunch Ooh. or mini wheats i like oh, both of those. you went high and then low what happened i i don't know <laughs> i grew up on mini wheats like and frosted I mini especially wheats? like yeah, like frosted. Oh, thank God. Imagine if it was just yeah, mini Yeah, oh, God, not a psychopath. <laughs> it's not like, it's not like Weetabix. <laughs> or I enjoy the like... taste of burlap. <laughs> <laughs> right. Literally living in middle of Russia, just. Yeah. <laughs> you eat Weetabix. Yeah, right. <laughs> just fiber. Yeah. yeah. No, no. The I, I like the sugary mini wheats, but Cinnamon Toast Crunch is like top tier for sure. Yeah. Very good. Very I good. I agree with that. You can't you can't go wrong with that. You can't. Yeah, that's really Kids good. can see What's it. What's yours? Uh I'm kind of boring. I'll say honey nut Cheerios. Oh, see, those are classic though. Those are really I think good. so too. I need, a, I need a bowl of those. It's timeless, yeah. you know. But I will say second place is cinnamon toast crunch. Nice. You can't nice. the is, best like milk crack. is cinnamon toast crunch. Oh by far. By 100%. far. Yeah. There's, that or I, you guys don't have Nesquik, I don't think, but it's like a chocolate puff cereal, oh. and it makes chocolate milk basically. What? Like that, we have we have cocoa cereal. puffs, which kind yeah, of yeah, it's kind of like that. cocoa puffs. Yeah, we have but we have better. Nesquik like chocolate milk, but I don't think we have Nesquik cereal. Yeah, the cereal is primo. Really? Yeah. I think very good. I I think I got to put Reese's Puffs up there. Reese's Puffs. Oh yeah, are pretty good. Yeah, those are good too. We got those too. You know what's gross? Yeah. Kicks. Nobody likes kicks. Oh, is that the one? Is that the red box with the bunny? Or is it's that the, a different that's one? tricks. 
close. Oh, tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is the No, no, that that's one? for that's for kids. Kicks is for landfills. It's just <laughs> it's just I don't think I've had that. Circular, just yeah. orbs of nothingness. It oh, tastes okay. like imagine cereal with yes. no flavor. That's Kicks. like raisin bran for me. Like raisin bran, yes. Yeah. Minus the without the raisins. Raisins. Which <laughs> How bad does your cereal have to be when raisins is what kicks it up a notch? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and like raisins are so sugary as it is. Like you might yeah. as well just put your sugar in that thing, man. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. That is not good cereal. No, no. I agree. No, I'm very I passionate agree. about cereal, so I appreciate this. Topic. I know. That's why I'm, I'm here for you. Yeah. I'm here for you. I are appreciate we, that. Do, how do, so how do we feel about Captain Crunch? Because it's a weapon, but it tastes good. It is. It is literally destroys your yeah. freaking bow like, but that's... i love captain crunch okay so we're a fan it is, it, i'm a fan okay. I, am, I haven't had it in years probably best. i remember going like camping and that was like one of the cereals we always got for some reason and i yeah. would, we would just eat a box in a day just and handfuls. your mouth would just be like bloody and <laughs> <I> raw <laughs> Why make cereal with edges? It's what is like, yeah. And like Fruit Loops did that for me too, which I do like Fruit Loops too, but yeah, Fruit I don't know. Good. Cap Fruit? Captain Crunch is deadly. Yeah. Pretty I good know. from what I remember. Right. It's, yeah. I mean, I imagine you, you haven't had it in, let's just ballpark and say 10 years, which means you've finally healed last week. The yes, exactly. <laughs> Maybe I'll try for a YouTube video. Oh, that's a good YouTube video. I'll do different cereal trying and I'll I'm give you a you. shout out. You know, I'm here <laughs> for you. <laughs> I love that. I need to write it down. I'll forget. I forget everything. Same. I literally have post it notes like everywhere. Dude, same. I purposely, right? so I have an Android. I purposely yeah. don't have an iPhone because I need a sticky note oh, in my face all the time. That's very nice. That is very they'll nice. They'll be like, just write, I'm the type of person that like, just write it on your hand. Okay, I'll never look yeah. at my hand. No, I, I used to do that too. Just gave myself ink poison, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, have you done the like, write on your hand and then you had to put an arrow on the outside? So you're like, what is oh, that? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, and I just do like these abbreviations where I'm like, what the hell was that? Like, you're right. I don't even know what I read. Why is my arm it? covered in look at your hand? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hieroglyphics. Like, That's oh right. god. That's yeah, right. always, always. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm so, a scatterbrain for sure. Same, same. That's yeah. why I married a nurse. I was like, you're, you're smart. You'll help me get through oh, life. Oh yeah, my boyfriend OCD is hell. Like he has everything. He gets we so him. mad at me because I live in organized chaos, disorganized yeah. chaos. It's not yeah, even yeah. organized. Same. And he is just like to the letter everything. So it's we, kind of funny. We need them. Yeah, they balance it out. We do. Yeah, yeah. we do. And yeah, my last name is balanced. So. You need it. Is it actually? Yeah, yeah, with two L's. Oh my God, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That makes no sense, but that's no, awesome. <laughs> no, it's more, it's more balanced, which ironically, yes. my wife's maiden name was more. So I was like, what are we doing? Let's hyphenate this. <laughs> that's amazing. More balance. Yep. Yeah, she didn't go that's for That's amazing. It. No, uh, yeah, yeah, probably not. I, I recommend it. I think creatives, uh, yeah. I'm just going to use that as the nice term. Uh, for yeah. our personalities. Uh, we kind of yes, need someone that. that can, you know, schedule appointments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if you can funnel that sort of chaos in our brains yes. to be funny, which I yeah. find is like the coping mechanism for all of it to begin with. A hundred percent. If you can, if you can make a TikTok, you can yeah. make some good stuff. Boom. Exactly. I'm yeah, into it. Definitely a coping mechanism. Definitely yep. therapy for myself, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Super healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Hey, it's, yeah. I've, I've been getting the second hand, so I appreciate it. Right? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. So it, this is kind, it. it's kind of a ridiculous question that I don't think has an answer, especially the way that things have happened. But do you have any thing that you've either learned having been on TikTok or advice that you would give to someone who wants to start making content, not necessarily for any sort of notoriety, but just yeah, a thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I guess the answer to both of those is just um, I've learned kind of what I was talking about with you is just trying to make sure that I'm doing all of this because it makes me happy, not necessarily yeah. because it makes every single other person happy. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying myself. And um, at the end of the day, num numbers don't define me, all this all this stuff. And it's, it's really hard when you get to uh, the point that I'm at to not think about that kind of stuff, like numbers and all that, all sure. that stuff. Sure. Yeah, it's just checking in with yourself every day, especially if you 
have, which many people do suffer with any sort of mental illness or anything like that. It's Absolutely. very important. Um, and then with starting any TikTok, I would just, um, again, just do stuff, do stuff that you enjoy and uh, stuff. If you do want to have a following of some sort, just make sure your content is like relatable to other people and all that kind of stuff. Otherwise people are going to watch your stuff and be like, well, <laughs> I don't know about that, <laughs> but if it makes you happy, then it makes you happy. And that's awesome. But yeah, it's just, it's just about, uh, be, being true to yourself and, um, making sure that you're, you're not, you're not just doing it to make other people happy. I, I think that's I a lot of people so important. With. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it was the best advice any creator can give. You know, it's yeah. like, it's, it's easy to fall into that, uh, supply and demand thing. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. Don't, don't make art for me, make your art yeah. and then I'll yeah. come to you and I'll like it. If it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit, but there's always more, you know, yeah. the, the second exactly. you change the power dynamic, you're going to hate it because you're not making it for you anymore. It's exactly. that's, that's great advice. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's basically it. I mean, and of course it becomes a job and like you get Absolutely. brand deals and all that kind of stuff where you kind of have to do stuff you don't exactly want to do, but you sure. need to pay the bills. So sure. I just try to do those kind of videos, how I want to do them. And if a yeah. brand says, no, you have to do it this way, then I'm like, I don't want to do it. So yeah. <laughs> I'm still trying to stay like I do. I do brands that I like and brands where I can still be creative and try to be funny in them too. Sure. So yeah, that's, that's been a, a, another thing I've, I've learned is you, I can say no to stuff and right. I, I can be choosy because I don't want to promote stuff that I don't, I don't give a shit about. Or yeah, totally. And yeah. it's, I think that also makes people want to look into those brands as well. Like the, the one you did yeah. for, uh, the shoes. Yeah. That's the, I love Bessie's like gold. <laughs> love them. And the, yeah. and the, and the video was hilarious. Cause it was all like, yeah, Oh, right. Like, like did I Google the shoe? Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. I did. That, that's awesome. Yeah. But like, it's, it's a shoe that like I've actually always wanted. And then they sent me a pair and I was like, cool. And I actually get to work <laughs> with them. And yeah, I was like, yeah, they're really, really cool. I literally stuck my foot in a freaking like puddle all the yeah. way up to my laces. Completely fine. Like it what? still blows my mind. That's so cool. <laughs> But see, that's it. another thing. It didn't feel like a try hard thing. No. Like it, I didn't feel like you were trying to sell me a shoe. I felt like yeah. you found cool shoes and wanted to tell me about them. And yeah, I th I that's think exactly that's what line, I wanted. You know? And that's, yeah, I love that. That's cool. And as long as I can work with brands that I can do that kind of stuff, then I, then I like, then I like doing that. I'm not going to be like, this is the product for you. <laughs> right. Yeah. But Pick I mean, cereal. sometimes you can't get around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or I could go that way and just make it, try to be funny. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Just, just like smile with like blood coming out of your mouth. Be like, Captain yeah. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. Uh, yeah, you so totally. <laughs> exactly. I love it. Amazing. Who, uh, yeah. who are some of your favorite like TikTokers? Do you have well, any like, like, oh. Yeah, I've made, I've made quite a few friends off of this app too, which like I'm the kind of person that has like one friend, like one yeah. good friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why <laughs> so do you need more? That's a cool more. experience too. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm like. So, but Shane Wally, he's one of my really good friends. I think he's a great creator. He's going through like a weight loss journey right now. And yeah. he's also a fellow Canadian right uh, TikToker. So yeah, we're good friends. I think his content's super positive and awesome. And then the real Adam Rose, we're friends now. Mm -hmm. I think his content's super funny too. He's just... I don't know. I just, yeah. I just love him. I think he's, he's great. And, um, oh, of course, every single person I follow is just, yeah. Right now. <laughs> it's like Christine snaps and yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's so many other ones. I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah. And they're, they're honestly all comedy. Yeah. Based of kind of people too. Yeah. And yeah. It's kind of cool. There's like a community of like entertainer, comical kind of people. Sure. And we all kind of vibe off each other, collab with each other and that kind of thing. So it's I love fun. it. I love yeah. it. It's so cool. It's so cool yeah. to find a community and like of people that are doing the same thing. You yeah, know? totally. So cool. Oh, and then, oh, freaking, you're in Florida. And I like uh, the Snickle, who we're really good friends. Ooh, Jesse. Yeah. He's great. And Jennings and like Lonnie and all those guys. They're, yep. they're fantastic too. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's yeah. so cool. It's yeah just build each other up, you know, in a time yeah. that like, I think that's what we need more than probably anything right now is like not yeah, tearing people down and like building each other up and like, Hey, you're doing this thing. Game recognizes game, son. And then grow together, Exactly. you know, exactly. It's so cool. Totally. You can, you can find yeah. that human connection. Yeah. It's great. It's great. 100%. Yeah. Can you believe we've been talking for over an hour already? 
No, really? Boom. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. That's what I like Killed to hear. It. One day. I love it. One day someone's going to be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Felt yeah, yeah. like five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, oh, all right. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, Chris, this was way fun. I really appreciate you talking yeah. to me and hanging out. This is so cool Absolutely. getting to know Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it was super easy talking to you. You're fantastic at, at this. At this, It's uh, great. It's a I'm just great interview. <laughs> Loved it. I honestly didn't even know we were doing the interview. Like at the first probably like 10 minutes, I thought we were just, <laughs> so, <laughs> I thought we were just like shooting the shit. <laughs> that's because we are. That's the show, my yeah, friend. I love it. I love it. This love was it. way fun. Uh, before I let you go, though, I have to ask, uh, yeah. where can people find you online? Talk to me about ah. your thingies. Yes, yes. Um, with a K, call me Chris on TikTok and YouTube. And then also call me Chris underscore four on Instagram. And that's love it. it. That's all my, love it. That's all get, my platforms. get that SEO. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And... Awesome. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Interesting Podcast. If you'd like to follow the show, it's at Pod of Interest on Twitter. If you'd like to follow me, I'm at Jedi Brian on all social media sites. You can also find me at brianbalance.com. There you'll find all my demos and a bunch of other fun stuff. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it and tell your friends. A good rating or review always helps and is greatly appreciated. Let the people know we've got some cool stuff going on over here. Speaking of cool stuff, we now have merch. Just search The Interesting Podcast on tpublic.com to get you some sweet gear. I've also got a Patreon, so if you'd like to support the show more directly, you now have that option over at patreon.com slash jedibrian. On that note, special thanks to Bernice, Chris, Ben, Jim, Daz, Kelly, Daryl, and Victor. Your support means so, so much, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. So until next time, be well.